talk about dimension and measures in this video. So before we proceed, I want you to answer these two questions. What's a dimension and what's a measure? In this video, my aim is to introduce you to dimension and measures in a very simple way. So let's start with the basic term we all understand. We all understand what numbers are, right? So when you look at any data set, there are only two types of data. There's number and there's non-number. That's text, strings. There's many other types of non-numbers, but pre predominantly it would be text. So let's look at this sample data set. So what type of columns do you see? So these are all the numbers. I see employee number, I see salary, I see age. These are all the numbers. And measures are nothing but numbers. That's all. Whenever you hear the word measure, just think of numbers. That's, the, that's all measures are. And let's take a look at the data set again. Now I've highlighted the text. These are all the text. There's name, role, department, gender, city, state. They are all text. And dimensions are nothing but text. So that's all. And if you look closely, what about the date? I have not highlighted that. Date is neither green nor you know blue, right? So what about the date? So the date is like an amph amphibian, right? So we know things like frogs, they can live on water, they can live on land. In the same way, dates can behave like dimensions, like text, and most of the times they do. But there are some times they can behave like numbers. They do have properties like number, like min and max and stuff, which we'll cover later in detail, right? So dates fall in between. So let's summarize this. So dimensions are nothing but text. And you add dates to that because that, that uh, dates are also behaving like text. And measures are nothing but numbers. That's all you need to know.